My project title is Do the CBR training activity in the Imama Simulation Training Center correspond to the national guidelines? The aim of my study is to review the quality and effectiveness of the PLS CBR, basic life support card to polymer resuscitation, PLS CBR training in the Imama Simulation Training Center in Riyadh City. We investigate whether the CBR course in the Imama Simulation Training Center complies with the national CBR guidelines. The second objective is the awareness of the health professions trainees about the updated national CBR guidelines. The third objective is the satisfaction of the trainees with the CBR course. The method of this study, it was a cross-sectional study in Al Yamama Simulation Training Center, Real City. It is well accredited and recognized a training center and to ascertain the opinion of other trainees, health professionals of the CBR trainees. During the CBR course, via a well-structured administered questionnaire, which include a section and awareness, satisfaction, and the content of the CBR training course. In addition to audit review of the BLS CBR resources, uh, it were, we, we, we were done by the director of the course. In addition to the two full-time instructor, the data was as statistically analyzed using student T-test and ANOVA. The results show that 100 participants, 55 men, 45 females, 63 Saudi nationality, 37 non Saudi with a combination of 29 doctors, 30 nurses, and 41 allied health professions. Less than quarter, 23% of the respondents generally agreed that the contents of the course were present. Less than quarter, 23% of the respondents were aware about the national CBR guidelines, and 22% were satisfied with the teaching in the Imam Simulation Training Center. Participants from Riyadh City were more satisfied, 55% with their teaching, and as compared to 47 from outside of Riyadh City, the B value was 0.02. There was no significance otherwise difference uh, in the responses by gender, nationality, specialty, age, and the use of experience of any of other objectives. The audit review reveals that the most of the training requirements and facilities well are fully available. The coaches that generally showed higher agreement score were related to the instructors, professionals, communication, and teaching skills. The questions that lower scores were related to the content, learning objectives, teaching methods, and integration with the real life situation and feedback. Discussion uh, that shows the results indicate the overall uh, the responses did not favor the confidence in applying uh, the skills learned in the particular situation, although an Imam training center is a well prepared for CBR training activities. The finding revealed that the training facilities and the resources in that center were generally good, but the, for the course content while the trainees satisfaction level for the trainees wa, uh, was very low. Uh, this comes to show the significant deficiencies in the two important areas, the awareness uh, for the update national CBR guidelines and the teaching methods used for this course, which can be reflected in poor training outcome with low survival, with low CBR uh, performance, thus low survival rate. Conclusion, Alimam Training Center is well, uh, um, is well, uh, uh, is well prepared, need uh, to review CBR contents uh, and update their teaching assessment method used for this course. The updated national guidelines is mandatory for all CBR Training Center to be the core contents of the training activities and should be available for training all the training centers and health institutions as well. More emphasized integration of knowledge and skills should be engaged in the training uh, and to be assessed by the activity tools.